Hey, tut tut. Let me have that bone. Man, you ain't getting it. I'm telling you now. I'm gonna bite this old bone. I'm gonna kill the squeakers. What I'm gonna do if I can? Yeah, you got the purple one, didn't you? You know it. I'm tut tut terrible. Squeaker killer. Extraordinaire. I can't keep up with all your titles, Tuck. I know, I'm getting pretty famous and good at stuff and stuff. Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm near Quartzsite, Arizona. What am I doing here? Mm. Enjoying some time out in the desert. I've been camping with friends for several weeks. Now, I'm not completely alone, but it's nobody that I know. And uh, just taking a little time to myself. A few things I gotta do. I need to clean these solar panels today. And uh, I purchased a thing for my camera to help me protect the babies so as you know one of um one of my biggest worries with the wolf pack are animals uh attacking them um you know even tucker at 20 pounds he's still a target for just about anything and everything out here uh, maybe some birds and stuff might not be as likely but Baby May May and Martini don't stand a chance. So I'll let my window down a little bit more. So, yeah, they're just teeny tiny. And uh, I usually do a potty break right before dark. And then I'm up editing and whatnot till 1130 midnight. And then I take them out one more time then. Now I keep them on a short leash, leash but never know what's around me. So, I had heard about some thermal imaging cameras for your, uh, for your Android and iPhone devices. And I started doing a little research, and I ran across a company called Seek. Now, I'm no way affiliated with them, I wish I were. But, uh, so I purchased this for my Samsung S10. So what this device will let me do... It's got several several different screens, but I can see in just about pitch black darkness around me. Not only that, if there are an, any any types of animals out and about, I can see their heat signature, and I can pick it up for thousands of feet. I'm guessing. Um, take a look at this uh, video I made last night when I was letting the babies out to use the bathroom. Try out my new thermal camera. Just tuck tuck. Baby May May. And Martini's behind me. Let me go out, make sure there's no wolf wolves. So I ain't just tuck tuck. This thing is so cool. There's Martini. See where the heat loss is red. That's where all the heat's coming out of. It. Down the most. Nope. Stay there. Won't be any wolf wolf sneak up on us. Get the front of this gypsy. This is my neighbor. This is so cool. We might case something that's a Class A with a Jeep. Spinning around, panning slowly, panning slowly. Whatever I put that mark on in the center is what I 
can tell what the temperature is. See the rocks are holding the temperature of them right there. There was another RV. Now I can flip back between different screens and get different colors and whatnot. Um, this little camera is amazing. I picked it up for 150 bucks on eBay. Um, yeah, you can tell that uh, the rocks hold like the fire pits and stuff around and big rocks laying around. They hold the temperature uh, longer. They don't cool off near as quick. But I was looking over here at the mountains and uh, around people's RVs and under people's RVs. Uh, I could see just about everything. Here's another mode. It's called black light or black. It's dark out here now. See in the dark. So I was kind of disappointed. It said that this was for Android. Uh oh, bump the phone. However, it does not fit my Samsung S10. Now I believe they have adapters to where I can adapt it over to my phone. But I purchased a, a burner phone at uh, Walmart the other day. Um, it's only like 20 or 30 bucks. And I can record with it. I don't need super quality to see the thermal. And I can upload it to my editor with this thing as well. So it's just one more tool in my toolbox to keep me and the baby safe. I really, really like it. Another thing that I've got to do today is to clean these solar panels. That fitting that I showed you the other day, that uh, that brass fitting that had broke, well, it didn't break on its own. I dropped it on the pavement um, one day when uh, I was uh, pulling the valves and emptying my tanks on this Gypsy. So I've got it replaced. I'm unable to find my thread tape to seal it on there. But uh, i got to put something on it and get up there and clean these panels. Yeah, I'm a... I'm real excited about this little device. I can't wait to see what kind of wildlife I catch uh, on the video and I get to share with everybody. So this is why I can't have nice uh, furniture. That's why I keep the cover on my couch. He's a nut. There's just no way it's going to be able to withstand him hold up to him. Oh, I got, I got a good workout. He'll throw the pillow off as well. That's his game. You didn't throw the pillow off, Tuck. Well, give me some time. Tucker, do you love me? More than you know. You're nut. you crazy. You, you loco in the cabeza. You mean the cabana? No, the cabeza. I think you got it wrong. I'm, I'm crazy in the restaurant, Tucker. 
Yeah. He's crazy in the head. My buddy. You know, you're the best buddy and traveling friend anybody could ever ask for. I'll keep you safe. I keep the other baby safe too. We got a good game going on this morning, don't we, Tuck? Man, you know it. Throw it, Daddy. You can throw it, right? Y yeah, baby. How else you gonna get it? Baby Maymay, are you gonna play? No way. Martini will whoop me. I, I won't let her. She might get a couple bites in before I can stop her, but I won't let her get you too bad. What is it, Tuck? I'm dying. <laughs> I gotta have it. Ah! We got the green bone. I found it in one of the storage boxes underneath Ms. Gypsy's storage lockers. What do we call them? Under underbelly storage. Here we go. Here we go. All right, martinis. You want it tough? You want it, Tuck? You, you're not going to give it to me. I'm, I know your tricks. Whoa. Nope, 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 nope. Almost. 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 People say Baby Maymay don't ever bark. Oh, my goodness. You want it, Baby Maymays? No way. We got a good game. Here we go. Uh-oh. We got the piggy, 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 the fishy, 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 and the green bone. Good game. Good babies. Good babies. One more. <laughs> you so loud. You so sweet. I love you, baby May Mays. I love you too, Dad. Sweet baby. All right. <clears throat> Tighten my fittings. When I showed you my water hose here the, the first time, I didn't put any fittings on here. I didn't put any uh, hose clamps. And they worked fine for cold water. But uh, when it got hot, of course, it wouldn't keep the pressure. So I've added hose clamps. This is a half inch line by three eighths. I think it's 20 foot long. Now, Eric one-upped me, the Nomadic Fanatic. He saw this. He thought it was a good idea. And he just put on a, a female fitting for a water hose right here. And um, the reason I use this line here is because I didn't think that the 12-volt pump that came on the RV could handle that much uh, volume inside the water hose. But uh, he, he, used his, he uses just regular... Uh, like a regular water hose, and it, it does great for him. But I've already got this, so I'm going to use it. So I think this is was 20 feet, and I added on some more line. Look at that. That was on full. Here's stream. Yep. Good for washing your windshield on your RV. As you can see, I've got enough hose to do it. Ha ha ha. So while I got it up here at the front of the windshield, I might as well do it along with the solar panels, right? I got a bucket and uh, a car wash brush, a towel, and some Joy dish detergent. Dawn, Joy, which is it? Dawn. I wash the dogs in this too. It kills fleas. Now that we have fleas. And one of the best things I've purchased is a collapsible bucket. Can't remember the size. Five liters. What's that? Two or three gallons. And just like that, I got a bucket. A little drop will do you.
I ain't reaching it. Let's try flat. There we go. Kind of nice having the mini split right there. Set my bucket on top of it. My broom right there, I don't have to climb with it. I just gotta climb with this thing. <clears throat> well, I've seen these panels dirtier. Not as bad as I thought they were gonna be. Now these big, these four big ones, I believe they're 320 watts a piece. Those are the ones that go to my six Battleborn batteries inside the power closet. When I purchased the RV, it came with this panel here, a GoDaddy charge controller, and two 100 amp hour deep cycle batteries under the hood. So I didn't see any need. It's also got its own 3000 watt inverter. I didn't see any need of removing it. So it makes a great backup for the other system, even though it's a lot smaller. It's nice to have, nice to know it's there. If I remember correctly, this panel is 140 watts, 150 watts. It does a pretty good job. If my heat pump keeps working out as good as it does, I want to try it in 100 degree weather. But if it does, I'm going to take that air conditioner off, put me a panel there and there, move these back. That'll add me another 640 watts. That'll get me through the... I got enough for summertime and air conditioning, but I'm only producing about 50 to 60 percent of the heat I need. So another 600 watts will help me recover those batteries quicker. Of course, this also makes a good dog washer for use outside, or of course, use it as an outdoor shower for yourself. Maybe you got some friends that don't have a shower that camp with you. Treat them to one of these, two of these a week. Just singing. Well, safely back down on the ground. You gotta be careful up there. You get water on your feet. Your feet will come out over your head if you're not careful. That's a long ways to fall. Okay. Well, had a video about my new Seek Thermal device. And did a little uh, window cleaning, solar panel cleaning. Hey, that makes a good video. All right. So yeah, I think I'll end this video where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye. I think I'm going to wash some dogs. Pretty sure I am. when uh, Tucker gets it. Hey, Tuck Tuck, let me have that bone. Man, you ain't getting it. I'm telling you now. I'm going to bite this old bone. I'm going to kill the squeakers. what I'm going to do if I can. Yeah, you got the purple one, didn't you? You know it. I'm Tuck Tuck the Terrible. Squeaker killer. Extraordinaire. <laughs>